Look. Look and wait. Look into my eyes. They are beautiful. Yes. Yes, yes, they are. Look at them. They are so lovely. I can't get that close shot to happen anymore. What's what's going on here? Whoa! There it is. Welcome back, everybody. To another fantabulous episode. Oh, I showed some stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> we are here today with another episode. I already said that. Uh, let's quick sleep. I'll get to all that stuff in a minute. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, so I've done a few things since the last time we talked. It's been a while, I know. Uh, is that everything? Yes, give me. Give me all the iron. Turn down my game volume a little bit. Or my headset volume. Okay. So anyway, I um, <clears throat> I made this. This is our furnace. I don't know if I'm going to update it or not. It's working sufficiently. I could not get that super smelter to work again. I don't know. I'm wondering if maybe some mechanics made it break in 1.8.3. We are now in uh, 1.8.4. So that's always nice. Um, yeah, things run a lot smoother now. Um, it's it's nice. But um, I'm wondering if mechanics broke. But this is this works fine. Uh, this will automatically separate it into two equal piles. That will go into each one and deposit in this chest when it's done. So this room is the storage room. Um, got signs on all the little chests. Uh, crafting table, ender chest, anvil, and this is just like a, a basic uh, little trash pile. If I throw some gravel in here, because I'm not going to want that much gravel. Uh, that's a dropper, and it's running. Let me see if I can do this. Oh, I blocked it off. Okay. It's running into a cactus, basically, and just destroying the blocks. Um... And then there's just a redstone circuit, you know. You know the drill. Oh, that was quick. Nice. Anywho, um, so that's that. Uh, I added some lights in the floor. This bed position's temporary. I think I want to get, like, some flowers around here. Like in the corners. Or maybe on these lights. Actually, do I have any flower pots? Let's see... No, I think all my flower pots went missing in the move. Oh, no, here they are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I put them under decorations. Um, see, I could do them on top of the lights, and I don't know if that's going to look good or not. Do, 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 do. What kind of plant? What kind of flowers do I I don't have many flowers. What if I try these jungle trees? Oh, but then I'm going to be short on jungle trees. See, jungle trees look really nice. Like that. But then I'm going to be short on jungle trees. This room is kind of like earth tones. You know, uh, with the yellows and the... And the, uh, the grays. So you need, uh, like browns and stuff like that. With the exception of the walls. The walls aren't really earth tone anything. Um, no, I can't do jungle trees because I'm going to lose all of them. What if I try some of the orchids? Boink. 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 I like that, but I don't like how they're in, like, the middle of the room. I'm gonna put them in the corners. Uh, which corner? The far corner. Which I can't do with this one. Um, actually... Three, five. There, and then one, two, three, four, five. Right here is more of a middle. Yeah, I know. I'm being derpy about a freaking flower pot, but hey, it's my room, damn it. I do what I want. Oh, these just one hit uh, with your hand now. I didn't used to do that. Why is that there? That's supposed to be here. Or wait. Oh. There. Okay. 
Yeah, I like that. And it's a little homier. And it looks pretty. Very pretty. Okay, anyway, um, what are we doing in today's episode? Well, uh, let me show you. So I built a very long tunnel here. We're going to go... I initially went the wrong way, um, so that's why this tunnel's here and this tunnel. This is okay. Um, we're going to have all sorts of these tunnels running all over the base with this blank wall being something. Uh, let's go this way because it's more fun. Um, running down the hallway. And these hallways we will decorate. Hopefully we'll get to that in this episode. Although I'm not sure. We'll have to see how much time we have and all that stuff. So let's cook inside. Hey, we do have a slime. Yay. Oh, we have a couple. So this is the function. It is a slime farm. I'm going to kill these guys. Hey, ow. That hurt. Nice. We need slime balls to finish off the ceiling of my base. Um, kind of the whole entrance portion of my base uh, needs a lot of slime blocks. So, and plus slime blocks are really useful and really fun. So we're going to be building a way to contain the slimes. So I already dug this out. Um, this is at level 39, which is the highest point in a world slimes can spawn. They can spawn anywhere in a slime chunk, which is one of these, uh, from bedrock all the way up to level 39. And I'm going to be adding more layers to this in the future. Uh, but for now, we're just doing the one layer. Um, and the way this will work is there'll be a little spawning platform like this. And then uh, three blocks down, because slimes are three high. There will be another platform, and then this will always be two below the lowest platform. Uh, slimes do not take into effect um, height when they're jumping around. Uh, slimes uh, always will jump in a straight line unless they are tracking or attacking a mob. So they will eventually always jump off this platform. Uh, these lower areas will have water streams. It's a pretty uh, common slime farm, but for those of you who don't know, I might as well explain it. Um, if this is more than five, uh, three blocks, which it takes to take fall damage, uh, a slime will ignore it. They will still fall off the edge. So I can have this bottom part here be basically at bedrock. Um, I won't because um, of the mechanism I'm going to need to do all this. I just realized I forgot signs. I'm going to need signs to do this. Ah. Um, and um, yeah, so that's that. But, I wanted to have a little viewing window. I'm just going to throw this down for now. Um, where these torches are is where the viewing window is going to be. So you'll be able to watch the slime. Um, this top layer will be decorated. And pretty much anything inside of the window will be after that. It kind of won't be because there's no point. But, let's get decorating. So I'm going to do a little bit on camera. Kind of show you what I'm thinking thinking and then I will get to it um, on my own so we're gonna do something like this um, we're gonna have stairs running along this way and I'll just do a bit here uh -huh, uh -huh. One, two. Wow, I actually timed that perfectly. Uh, above that, that's why I need this crafting table. Because I did not prepare fully. I wasn't 100% sure what I'd want. That's why I, uh, you know, got a bunch of materials on me. Um, up here, we're going to have slabs. That run. Uh, this isn't going to be super decorated. It's going to be pretty simple in design. But um, it's just enough for... Uh, effect. So this this whole ceiling will basically be slabs. This ground here, um, let me just pick a spot for this. Uh, oh, that's right, there's a hole down there. <laughs> um, ew. I, oh, we're in a mesa, that's right. Oh well. Um, gonna be kind of a cool effect I think in this room 
Uh, this whole spawning platform will be um, grass. So I'm going to fill this in to let that stuff work. And then I think the water channel area here will just be uh, stone slabs. You won't see too much of this anyway because it's going to be covered by water. Uh, but it's just going to be nice to kind of see. Like so. Um, I think in this corner I'm going to have the cactus. I won't put that in yet. Um, but basically the cactus will be here with hoppers all around. The slimes will run into it. They'll drop their slime balls into the hoppers. And we'll have the hoppers carry them over to probably a chest system that will be over here. Um, and that will look all nice and pretty. And I got to... Okay, there we go. Um, just something popped up on my computer. Anyhow, I am going to get working on this. And I will see you in a little bit when it's all done. And there you go. That's it. There's our slime farm. So just as I said, you know, swimming, falling, dangerous cactus, funky water designs. Um, and that funnels into these chests, which are empty because we have no friends. And yes. So now, 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 now. We are going to start decorating this area, and I may or may not have to get more dark oak wood for this. Uh, there, and actually this one should be here. We're not going to be able to see this portion here. Uh, boink this torch. I'll throw up on the wall for now. Um, and then down here we are going to put dark oak wood planks. I like dark oak wood. You know, I wasn't really a huge fan of it on YouTube. Uh, like watching other people use it. But once I got PC and I started using it, I really like it. I like the look. Um, I'm going to throw a crafting table down just uh, right here for now. Then we're going to be using some of these uh, green stained glass panes. And we're going for, I think I might have said this, we're going for earth tones kind of in this area. So you can see kind of the, um, you can see kind of the effect I'm going for here. this Boink. so that you can still see in here but you can't actually affect anything on this side I don't know I haven't planned that and I probably should um, same thing on this little area here this however I did plan up okay didn't need a couple of stairs cool all right, we're gonna have to be a little careful with this one because in a second, let's do that. All right. So back behind these hoppers, we're gonna put green stained clay. And let's see. Yeah. Before I do that, let's see if I can get that glass back nice. I'm going to do some stairs here and here, and then the green clay, like that. And I should, probably should have brought more materials to kind of finalize this decorating process, but I didn't because I'm a fool, so yes. Uh, we're going to have more logs across this, up and down like this. Um, you know, I might go get spruce logs. Dark oak, um, wood looks really good with spruce logs. And, uh, I don't know why that is, but it is. And, uh, yeah, that's true. It's a well-known fact, if you don't know that fact. 
Uh, you grew up in the Dark Ages. And you should be beaten wildly with a stick. So let's go back and uh, see if I can get some spruce wood. I may have to grow some trees. And I really don't want to have to grow some trees because that's a pain in my butt. <sighs> There's a zombie somewhere. Where are you, zombie? So you show yourself. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got under wood. Yeah, I don't have a lot of spruce wood. But see how nicely these go together? See? It's beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to guess I'm going to have to grow some spruce trees. Okay. So here's what I decided to do. I got the window in. And some stairs on top. And then I just put polished andesite on the sides. And then on the other sides, I added um, chiseled stone brick and like this little diagonal shape. The problem we have here is this right here is the inside of the farm. And I don't want that stone brick exposed. I could try cracked. Nah, it doesn't look good. So I kind of ran out of options. Um, I'm not sure if I like it. Um, I needed something that kind of goes with the dark greens and the browns, and I just I didn't know what to do. Uh, there, I'm going to put glowstone or lamps or something down here to add light, and I'm going to be doing the floor and the walls and stuff in this section. Um, probably, let's see how much time have we wasted so far in this episode. Um... Just about 17 minutes or so. So we're, we're nearing the end here. This is probably going to be a short episode today. Anyway. So, um... Yeah. This is, uh... I think I'll like this better once this hallway is decorated. So... Anyway. Um... I think we can do... Oh, I brought along some acacia wood just to try out the planks um, yeah that might actually look good like if I did it right like right in the middle just to like break up the stone brick oops I don't want any of the orange showing because it won't fit it looks weird it really does do I have cobble on me yeah, what does cobblestone look like? Maybe if it was like mossy cobble or something, it'd look good. There, it just looks lazy. Alright, I'll stick with the chiseled. Um, if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, I think I'm going to hold off decorating the floor and stuff in this area until we kind of know what the feel of the area is going to be. But, we should be able to do these hallways. Hallways always um let me give you kind of an idea of what i'm going for so i need to pick a theme for the ground oops in this area and i think i'm going to go with i need like um so that area is going to be kind of like the earth tone feel so i'm probably going to go see I, I'd want to do cyan but I don't want to because it's right here um, I got a lot of red hmm something a little more in well hang on one sec uh, variant blocks how does red stained clay look with acacia wood I actually really like that wow it's awesome Okay, then we're going to do not quite that. Let's do half of these into planks. And let's grab a whole bunch of red stained clay. There we go. There's like... What's going on outside? Oh, somebody's just trying to park. I like saw these lights and I'm like, uh, creepy. So what we're going to do... I'm going to dig out this area... And, um, 
and just start putting down red clay on the floor. Um, this, this place is probably going to require a lot of glowstone. And, um, I know, uh, we have a witch farm in the works, albeit very slowly. So maybe that'll be a pretty good source of glowstone in the future. Let's keep digging here. Shut up, dog. My dog's barking. Anywho, uh, let's, let's leave it at that for now. Um, then we're going to take some of these. And we're going to do, I'm going to need to, oh, God, my inventory's full. I'm going to need to go to the crafting table over here. I probably should have gone the other way, but too late now. Here we go to the crafting table, running all the way around. Uh, let's take about half of these and turn them into stairs. Uh, throw, what is that block? What is that? Is that just hardened clay? Get out of here. Ooh, I want all of those. There we go. And, uh, ch 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 ah. I cannot wait to get a beacon in this place. Running will have never been easier. Anyway. And then... I don't know, maybe every... 10 blocks? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I'm going to dig out the red clay here just to kind of... Kind of, you know, save red clay. And I just want, we'll just do cobble, I guess. And put a piece there and a piece there. And we're going to do this kind of thing. This kind of thing. See, I'm wondering if that's going to make it too cr It might be okay. Love how I place the torch exactly where I need to place this thing. It might be okay once we get a whole hallway done. And then that, and then that, and then the ceiling will be its own thing, and then we'll do something like torches for now. Um, I'll probably put a lamp up here, actually, and then the lamp will be hanging down. So then you have this, and then ten blocks later, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have another one. Like this, if I could do things. And there's another one. And for now, I'll do torches until I have the ability to do, um, until I have enough to do, you know, like actual lamps and stuff. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here, guys. Um, I will finish this off camera. And we will look at it next time. And I might do some more decorating because this is kind of plain the way it is. And it looks a little weird. Um, but I'll try, I'll try to work it out so that it looks so nice. I'll put something nice on the walls to make them look industrially. And uh, it's kind of supposed to be like um, the whole idea of the base will be the same. Like it'll all be the same uh, style of building. But each, each area is going to be a little different in color. And um, it's just going to have, you know, it's like a color-coded hallways and stuff. And should be pretty cool. And the whole idea is, uh, I think that's 10, is for it to be kind of military style. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. You know, kind of like, because um, the whole idea is this is going to be a missile silo. So this is the first of many hallways to be designed and uh, we'll probably have a little bit more fun with each one anywho I'm rambling now uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next episode see ya